Excel is a fantastic tool for working with extensive data and user inputs. When working with user inputs, it's a frequent scenario in which the users are needed to choose options or list things. In this regard, creating a drop-down checklist is a magnificent approach. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a drop-down checklist in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Say, I have a dataset of several students' names. Now, of these students, only three passed. I have to create a drop-down checklist containing these students' names. Then, I want to check the past students' names and get an output in another cell containing only the past students. To create a drop-down checklist, the first thing that you need to do is to create the drop-down checklist options. To do this, first and foremost, you have to go to the Developer tab on your Excel ribbon. But there's no tab with this name. So you have to enable the Developer tab first. Right-click on any tab on the ribbon and select Customize the ribbon option. In the Excel Options window, check the box of Developer option and click OK. Hence, the Developer tab is now visible. Go to the Developer tab in the Controls group of commands. Click on the Insert drop-down tool. In the ActiveX Controls group, select the List box option. As a result, a list box will be in your control. Now, drag your mouse to determine the list box area. Right-click on the list box area and choose the Properties option from the context menu. Consequently, a Properties window will appear. In the Name text box, write Checklist. In the List field range box, refer to the cells B5 to B12. From the List style option, select Option 1 FML List style option. From the multi select option list, choose option 1 FM multi select multi. Thus, there will be a drop down checkbox list with the students' names. Let's close the properties window. Now, to get the past students' names in a cell, create a header in cell F4. I'll write past student as the column heading. Now, I'll format this as a column heading. To do this, select cell B4, go to the Home tab. From the clipboard group of commands, click on Format Painter option. It will copy the format of this cell. Now apply this format to cell F4. Select cell F4 to F5 and apply all borders. Now select cell F5 and name the output cell F5 as checklist output in the name box. As a result, your drop down checklist options are created properly and the output cell is also declared with a proper name. Now I have to add a button to make the checklist interactive and to extract the desired result. In order to do this, first go to the Insert tab, click on the Illustrations group drop down, then Shapes tool, choose the rounded corners rectangle option. As a result, you will have control over this shape now. Drag your mouse to create your button area and fill the rectangle with your desired color. Afterward, right click on the mouse inside the rectangle area and choose the Assign Macro option from the context menu. As a result, the Assign Macro window will appear. Now, name your macro as button click on the macro name box and click on the new button. Consequently, the VV editor will open automatically creating a new module named Module 1. Inside the Modules code window, I'll paste the VVA code. You'll find the code from the article link in the description box. This is the start of the VVS subroutine called button click. It's a piece of code that will run when the button in this worksheet will be clicked. Here, I'm declaring several variables that will be used in the code. Button shape is a variable to store the shape of the button that was clicked. List option is a variable for storing options from the checklist. M and N are integer variables used in loops. XP is a string variable. This line sets the button shape variable to the shape of the button that will be clicked, allowing us to manipulate it. This sets another variable, checklist box, to the object named checklist in the active worksheet. Here, checklist is the list that I just have created. I'm checking if the checklist is currently invisible. If it's not visible, this line makes it visible. This line changes the text displayed on the button to tick the past students. I'm initializing the result str variable as an empty string and then setting it to the value in the cell named checklist output which is the F5 cell. This checks if result str is not empty. If result str is not empty, it will split it into an array called result r using the 
semicolon as the delimiter. Here I am setting up a loop that goes through the items in the checklist. And this line assigns the value of the current checklist item to the XP variable. I am setting up another loop to go through the result R array. This condition checks if the current item in the result R matches the current item in the checklist. If there's a match, the line selects the item in the checklist, then exits the loop early once a match is found. This line ends the loop that goes through the checklist items. This if block is ended here. If the result str was not empty and the loop has been executed, this code block is used to select items in the checklist based on the result str variable. If the checklist is already visible, this code block will be executed. This line makes the checklist invisible again. And the text on the button will be changed back to click here to open the checklist. Here I am again setting up a loop to go through the items in the checklist, but this time in reverse order. The condition checks if an item in the checklist is selected. If an item is selected, its value is added to the list option variable with a semicolon and a space. And this ends the condition for checking if an item is selected. This line ends the loop going through the checklist items in reverse order. This condition checks if there are any selected items in the checklist. If there are selected items, this line sets the value of the checklist output cell to the list option, removing the trailing semicolon and a space using the mid and len function. If there are no selected items, this code block will be executed. This line sets the value of the checklist output cell to an empty string, effectively clearing the content. And this if block is ended here, completing the code for handling the checklist when it's visible. And that's the end of this sub procedure. In the code, the button's macro name is button click. Checklist is the name of our checklist, and checklist output is the output cell F5's name. You must change these names inside the VVA code if you name these things something else. Afterward, click on the save icon or press Ctrl plus S on the keyboard. Thus, the code is saved and workable now. At this time, close the code window and go back to your main Excel file. You will see there will be interactive checkboxes and a button. Now, click on the past students' names, Lily, Matthew and Naomi. It's not working, but don't worry. Go to the developer tab and turn off the design mode by clicking on this option. Now check these names, Lily, Matthew and Naomi and click on this button. As a result you will find the names of the past students in cell F5 and the button will be named click here to open checklist interactively. Let's change the font color for better visualization. Now let's use the button again. Click on the button to open the drop down checklist and select other options and click on tick the past students button. And that's it. Thus you will be able to create a drop down checklist in Excel and will be able to use the checklist to generate results. In this tutorial I have shown detailed steps to create a drop down checklist in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Excel Demi community forum where you can post your Excel and VVA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.